Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn and ISO show. If you don't know now yet, know we back at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the dynamic duo, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're not going to waste too much time. We're going to get to this episode because uh, a lot of things been brewing over the week, over the weekend. And we're going to jump into it, man. But let's start the pot where we start the pot. How was your week? How was your weekend? Everything was lovely, man. Um, thank you all for the love and support. You know what I mean? The support we've been getting. Well, well, since the beginning, not, not maybe since we've been started, but you know, it's growing and growing and growing. You know what I'm saying, and I just, I just appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate the views that we getting. You know what I mean, the comments, um, y'all going back and forth with her and through through the text number. You know what I'm saying, I got to start jumping on there too, so I can start going yeah. back and forth with y'all. I want to get more interactive with the people, man. I really do. I'm about to start. I'm about to start a Discord so you can see that the Discord and everybody that comment, you just be able to see it. You okay. Just like that, I'm gonna start a Discord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because we most we most definitely gotta get that going. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, so I be wanting to go back and forth with the people. You know what I'm saying? And the ideas, and you know, debating or whatever, agree with, we don't agree, and just have fun with it. Right. But um, yeah, man, everything's good with me, man. I just I appreciate, man. Um, let me say something that ain't got nothing to do with what we ought to talk about for a second. How come when I use when you use Cash App now, you got it? The note is required that you have to say what it's for. Yeah, <clears throat> they think they slipped because they're going to tax you. Exactly. Yeah. So now you got to put in what what it what it's for. Right. So nine times out of ten, I just put gift in there. If I'm sending this like a family member, because if not, they're going to tax you. They're going to tax whoever receiving it because they think I like oh, right, this is how these. It's how these like little uh, mom and pop businesses is getting away from not paying taxes on certain things using the cash app. I just put gift on there. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, how? Because I, I go to send the money, then it says it's required. Yeah. Why would a note? And I just stop to think, why would that be required all yeah, of a sudden? Because they want to know. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, I just put, I, I just put none of y'all business on there. <laughs> put that on everything. <laughs> nah, I put gift on there. Though. <laughs> he put none of y'all with it. And niggas yeah. getting taxed for that shit. That money you sent me for the baby diapers. I had to <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then my income tax check. They talking about some, what about this? Like, yeah, you got to be careful. It yo. says right there, it's none of your business. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful, dog. Because they, they are looking to tax motherfuckers for everything. You know what I mean? They, they yeah, so I'm like, I, I go to send it. Joan pop up that I can't send it unless I say what it's for. Yeah. I'm like, since when they start doing that? Right. They about to eliminate cash, bro. We not gonna have cash no more. It's man, be, it's man, man that's impossible. You gotta, have, you gotta have cash, bro. They gonna think about it. What? How many times a day do you use cash, like physical cash? Well, I'm only, I, I, I'm only use it maybe like maybe a, maybe once in a while, or something right. like that. If I go to like the corner store or something like that, but still use cash because some businesses only take cash. Some business you right. Some, some businesses, businesses still do. only take cash. And they gonna be obsolete. You know I mean? They gonna push you know, themselves out. You no, know, yeah. like the whole you know, like you go to the car wash, stuff like that. Right. Um <laughs> some restaurants, some nothing I'm pop the food spots and all that, still only take cash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Places only take cash. But um yeah, because I have been walking around with the same cash on me for like weeks. Yeah. And I ain't spent it other than like I would like you going to like a corner store where you spend a couple of dollars at a time, you're really not spending no money, but still. Unless you unless you're going back and forth from Philly to Jersey, you using the toll. Yeah. Other than that, like I don't even use cash. I keep <clears throat> I keep that shit in my car just in case I gotta go to Jersey, come back. That shit'll sit in my car until I do it. Yeah, yeah I don't right. use cash for nothing. But yeah, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> he said none of your business. Yeah. That's why we put <laughs> they it gonna on start they're gonna start telling you you can't use that. Right. But I mean we need a specific reason. No, right. you can't use that. Yeah, yo. Motherfucker, big brother's always watching, man. Exactly, because and then and then and then let me say this. All right. I don't even know. Well, it's 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 like we said, it's the it's the matrix. Everything is illusion, the whole illusion of choice. You 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 asking me, do I want y'all to track me across apps? You say no, but you're tracking me anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because if I Google something, then I get on Instagram, I see an ad for what I Google for. Right. But I, you know what I mean? I said, don't track me. Right. Yeah, that's what you said, but <laughs> but no. <laughs> I mean, we asked you, 
But we just ask you to right. be nice. It's a courtesy. Yeah. <laughs> ask you as a courtesy. You know what I mean? We got a business to run. Like, we ain't, we, we asking you to make you feel, but it's just really a courtesy. Right. Yeah. Because you, you know what I'm saying? Because you saying no, but they tracking everything you're doing anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so 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 I know what that is. You you saying no, don't track me, but then you tracking everything I do. Everything you do everywhere you go. You know what I mean, if I Google something and say I know anything, any app I go on, you just it's popping up with ads for what I just Google for. Right. Like literally like a minute after I do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. That shit in in a way though, I'm not gonna say it has to do it, but you know, they they do that shit anyway, like you gotta think about it. If you want Instagram or wherever, whatever social media joints you want, you get like fucking location location discounts. Like when I'm on Instagram, I'll see shit about Sesame Place and stuff like that because we live in the area where it's here. A motherfucker in Florida ain't gonna see that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they tracking you across everything. You know what I mean? You might be riding past the McDonald's or something. Next thing you know, you want to join? Yo, get a coupon for McDonald's in here. Shit, they always gonna track you. They tracking your location, all that, all that's getting tracked. Yeah, they know all that, man. But uh, um, <clears throat> sticking with what we're doing, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, remembering the times and going through what we're going through. Um, I had a couple OGs, you know what I mean, talk to us throughout the weekend, man. You know what I mean? I wish I wish it was a way. That's why I got started Discord, so, you know what I mean, you can hop in these joints with me, too. And I told the OG, like, like what we said before, I'm like, yo, like, y'all, 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 the, um, y'all, y'all the Barkstone boys, you know what I mean? Marlo pushing y'all off the block. No, we ain't getting pushed off the block. You know what I mean? Because then, then they went deeper to some other shit like, well, he still had the best product. It don't matter. If he pushed you off the block, don't nobody know about your product anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? The young boys is pushing the, you know what I mean? OGs off the block. And it's just, it's just something that happens with time and everything. You know what I mean? It's not just a hip hop thing with that. You know what I'm saying? It, that happens everywhere. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, I'm going to let you do your thing and speak your piece on that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the times is changing. The times is moving on. The young boys is taking over as they should. You know what I mean? Is it all right, within the conversation, there's a couple of things that I do that I that I that I appreciate by the young that the young kids going. It's a couple of things that I don't. Like we talked about the fact of there's no such thing as a compilation album no more. My thing was I don't even know who the fuck is album mates. No, I mean uh not album mates. Like, you know what I mean, uh label mates anymore. I don't know who's on the label with nobody else no more. I don't know that. These young they move like individuals. They are, they are, they, they, they run like they do that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't no like, yo, uh, Ja over here with them and then we go do the compilation album. That shit don't exist no more. You know what I'm saying? So I mean it do, but at the same time, is everybody a rapper because you'll have you'll have the crew that they're from, because you know, um, um, ASAP Mob kind of like pioneered that. True. Having it, having your crew name before your name. Right. Before your own individual name. ASAP Rocky, ASAP Ferg, ASAP right. 12. So now everybody does that. But then it's like, are you the only person that's the rapper? Not, not I mean, how many other rapper? And then, yeah, who's really doing, who's really doing a compilation, compilation, comp, I can't even fucking say it. I know what you mean. Compilation album. Right. That's kind of like a thing of the past. Yeah, it is. Um, which some of these people might, it might be more beneficial. I don't know, because to me, the whole compilation thing, to me, it ain't that many of them that I really liked. You feel what I'm saying? You mean like the Rough Rider? The joint? Rough, no, I'm just saying it's not that many. Like, okay. I'm, about to, I'm about to name it as one of the ones that I did. Okay, like. okay. But when you do compilations, you you might have people on the you might have people on the label that I don't care nothing for. You know what I'm saying? You might have people. So the whole compilation compil, compilation thing is like, eh, I could take it or leave it. I mean, I always could take it or leave it. Yeah, but it's just a way for the label to introduce like an artist that might not get, you know what I'm saying, that type of notoriety. You know what I mean? We're going to put yeah, Ja but, on here. They're going to listen for Ja, but then you're going to be on here too. Yeah, I get that. You know what I'm but, saying? But the whole thing, because it's the whole thing of selling albums now. True. It is. It is. You know what I mean? Selling albums is damn near out the door now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It really don't even, it really probably don't even make no sense for you to probably go past maybe what? 
the average album is what? 12 to 16 songs or yeah, something now. like that? Yeah, now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, and then you probably going less, you probably going to start doing less and less of that and just probably just making it Probably just making it. I probably just, probably just would make probably just make it a cheaper price. I would. You know what I mean, I personally would. You mean you mean making your album a cheaper price? Yeah, because if yeah. I give you, well, some sometimes someone call like, well, this is different than an album and an EP, depending on how many songs it is or this and that. Right. Um. If you give somebody a good eight to ten, if you give somebody a good eight to ten joints. And then I might sell. I would probably sell that shit for like three ninety nine, four ninety nine. Damn, that's single prices. No, that's single prices when we grew up. Now I mean times is changing. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> times is changing. That's single. So you prices would go. You us. would go down on your price even because though single price is now like ninety nine cent. Yeah, but even though you know, I don't even know how to track my my streaming numbers. Or how I'm gonna get paid for my streaming numbers, which is gonna be the bulk see, of my see, shit. See, that's the problem. See, that's why I'm saying lower it that way that'll get people more incentive to say, man, it's only three ninety nine. I might as well just go get the whole album. I'm, right. I'm, I'm I'm trying to think of a way that could help people. Now I'm saying get album sales. You see what I'm saying? Right. To I don't me, know, I don't even know if the generation that that the, the generation that listen to hip hop now, if they even look look for the album sales. I mean, look for the price. They just like fuck it. I'm gonna stream it anyway. Yeah, but that might get people an incentive if you now, now you make it that and that's your favorite art. It's like you got people who, my favorite rapper is this, and then you never pay for their music. True. You know True. what I mean? Your favorite that that's your favorite rapper, but you never pay for his music because you're from a generation where y'all just listen to it a million times. Right. Cause you can get your hands on it for free. We don't you know what I mean? I don't we don't come from that generation. No. So now the new generation with the technology is you're able to listen to it five minutes after somebody drop it. Somebody going to put it up for free. But it, it, it might give people more in the sense of if you only made it $4 or $5. All right, they might say, well, it's only $4.99. I might just buy the whole album. I just right. might just pay for the whole album. Right. You know what I mean? It might just be, might just got to think of like an all, yeah, alternative way. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to get to get, to get get your your fan base to want to, to spend the money. Because like I said, it's hip-hop. The fan base... The majority of the people that move the needle in hip hop are younger. True. So they may not spend like I remember we, we used to go spend eighteen, nineteen dollars. Some of these joints used to be high, like damn, dog, it's on like nineteen ninety nine, eighteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when joints say sell, down. they say sell and they be saying that shit. You see what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. And he talking about so only got sixteen songs on there. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is you might be able to. Drop the number of songs. You know what I mean? Cut cut down the number of songs. It might make the joint four ninety nine or something like right. that. Right. Three ninety nine or four ninety nine, and just get you know what I mean, and just get more. That 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 might give people more incentive to just buy your album. Right. So we're gonna say, all right, I could spare the four dollars. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Or 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 a kid or a kid might go to their parents or something like that and say, I'm going to buy this album, and it's only three ninety nine, dollars Right. Or four ninety nine. dollars They'll say, all right, it's only 4 or $5. Right. That might give you more of an incentive to be able to get your music sold because of the time, because y'all battling technology. You know what I mean? Y'all, that's what they doing right now. But you, shit yeah. getting phased out, though. Like What? I'm just saying, like, dog, my car don't have a CD player in it. What do you care about CDs for? I'm just saying, like, why are they even still making physical copy Yami joints? That shit is getting phased out. Because of, of because of nostalgia and vintage people. There's a lot of people that do so it's, it's people that it's still people that get vinyl and cassette tapes. You know what I'm saying? It's people that still put their stuff on cassette tapes for the few people that listen to that. Just like you still got record players. You know what I'm saying? They still make vinyl for some albums because of some people who just like who who just like to consume and listen to their music that way. You're not doing you. I mean, you're not doing that no more. You're not mass producing it no more. Just like you see pit stores like Target and Best Buy and all that, they don't they don't really sell that many. Right. They got like a small little section of like they still got vinyl. Not not me going to some of these stores. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's not. It's, you're not. They're not. They're not mass producing it. 
You know what I'm saying? It's not mass producing, but people still do have some CDs. People have, have cassettes. People still have vinyl. It's just not on a large scale like I used to be. Mm. So that's all. I feel you on that. It should just, yeah, it's just, sometimes, I don't know, I'm just thinking in my head, like, if, if I had a label, like, that shit would just seem like an expense that I don't even want to indulge in. What? A fucking producing physical copies, like. You I'm probably, you, probably, you, probably, you, probably, you, probably, you probably barely will. You'll probably. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You probably barely will. You might do. Who knows? You might say, man, I'm only going to put. Not even 100,000. You might say, man, we're going to do. 20,000 pieces of vinyl. And and some people might still like cassettes, depending, depending on the artist. Right. Because hip hop is, you know I mean? You still, like I said, you still got the barbershop dudes. Yeah. Who that's just nostalgia for them to have a cassette tape. Yeah. So they might say, man, we're going to make 5,000 cassette tapes and we'll just sell them on the website. And they sell, they sell. You're not worrying up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's just really for nostalgia purposes and throwback purposes at this point. You know what I mean? Just like if I had an artist that it depends on, it depends on, um, depends on the type of music they make it. You know what I'm saying? If he from that era, if he, if he like, yo, no, I'm like, I'm a street dude and I write street stuff, so I wanna I wanna have some cassettes. It's not gonna right. be a lot of cassettes. It's like there's like my favorite rapper now is West Side Gun. He do all of that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They be having they be having cassettes, they be having vinyl, they be having CDs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they come from that era. They they are barbershop dudes. Right. But if you got a pop artist, pop artists no probably don't care nothing about that. Exactly. It doesn't matter. So so it depends on who you're dealing with. Right. So it depends on the artist that you got. You know what I'm saying? But you're not spending. You're you're not going to spend a whole bunch of money on that shit. You know what I'm saying? You really just spending a little bit on that for nostalgia purposes of people who like still. You know what I mean? Still like that. Who still right. like having tape decks. You know what I mean? Say the truth. I would still have a cassettes. You know what I mean? But you know, I'm not an artist. But I would probably probably still sell some cassettes. Okay. For nostalgia purposes, it ain't gonna be a whole lot of. I mean, like we yo man, we got a million cassettes. We don't. No, we're not doing it like that. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Gonna for, for, for All right, a, a, few, gonna... a few thousand for the people that want to buy them, and that's that. Right, right. That's that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're not we're not putting significant money and resources into that physical right. copies no more. They don't because other than other than mom and pop little small mom and pop stores that are left, and maybe Walmart, maybe Walmart, Target, and stuff like that. Because Best Buy said they don't even sell physical media no more, right? Right. They get not they they get out of that they sell. Yeah, it's taking up space. I mean, we we need that space for some other shit. You know what I mean? And 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 we paying for stuff that people are not really buying from us. Right, 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 right. So, do you do you think there's a lack of diversity right now? Diversity in what? In music. You know what I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of uh. A lot of the comments was that yeah, I mean, uh, they feel like they overly, overly compensated with like drill music. Drill music is the main the main genre right now. No, you can listen to it. No, because you got the freedom to listen to whatever you want to listen to. That's what I mean. You got people worried enough about stuff that they don't even listen to. Yeah, you can listen to whatever you want to listen to. I listen to whatever I want to listen to. That's why it don't bother me. I listen to whatever music I want to listen to, and you can too. That's what I'm saying. People are getting old and turning into their parents. You're complaining mm. about stuff that doesn't concern you. Mm. Yo, drill music this, drill music that. When the fuck do you listen to drill music other than when somebody else playing it? Right. Right. Yeah. Other than when somebody else playing it, when do you hear it? Do you do you cut it on yourself? No. You don't cut it on your goddamn self. Most people don't. So what you complaining about this shit for? People are turning time. Listen. Time goes on. Mm. We're getting older. Yeah, Some of these motherfuckers are turning into their parents. You are now complaining about the same way, the, the, the same way people complained about the stuff we listen to. Because they listen to soul music, Motown, and all that. Now y'all listen to hip hop. They were upset about that. Now the generation of hip hop, then that first generation. Oh, y'all listening to y'all talking about Biggie, Nas, and Jay and them, them is the best. No, they're not better than than Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, right. and then you know Cool G Rap Karis one. It time time just goes on. People every time some time moves on, the generation just gets upset about that. 
that things change. Yeah, the generation that grew up with it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, things change. Now yeah. you're consumed with it. No, you're not because you don't listen to it. You know, I'm, I, 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 I listen to some drill rap, but I don't listen to it to the point that I'm going to be complaining about. The hell do I care for it if I ain't got? Listen to it? I listen to what I want to listen to. I listen to what I want to listen to. If I want to listen to something, click on something new, or I hear a new artist name, I click on it and I check it out. If I like it, I like it. I don't, I don't. You got all this freedom and y'all still complaining like that shit is just being pumped on y'all. Like, okay, we turning on your own TV rap, so Rap City, and this is what's playing right now, so we got to deal with that's playing. No, you got the freedom of choice. Technology gives you freedom of choice. True. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, so... What you mean diversity? It's all, it's all, it's all types of, it's all type of music out there. You know what I mean? Got find what you like, find what you like, and then this, this is the main thing. Don't worry about what somebody else is listening to if y'all don't like the same thing. That's the problem. Yeah, we just want find what you like. We never had to find what we like. This shit found us. Like yeah. we grew up, the music kind of found us. Well, we didn't have technology like this, so like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we but, heard about some shit. You know what yeah. I mean? In school or whatever. Yeah, but within that, you you gravitated to what you like. True. And what you didn't true, like. True, true, true. You left alone. True. You right. You know what I'm saying? I gravitated. I, I mean, I hearing anything. Yeah, I might sit down and watch your own TV raps, Rap City and all of that. And I gravitate to what I liked. What I don't like, I'm not going to spend my money on it. Right. I never did. I, did. I didn't buy all hip hop. I gravitated to what I liked. I gravitated towards... Some street shit, like I said, you know I mean, mostly street shit. And then a couple of the rappers, like, not, not, I mean, like, you know, um, um, Roots, like right. I said, um, Common is one of my favorite rappers. You know what I mean? I gravitate to what I liked. Okay. Even then. So you have the freedom of choice. Like I said, it's just the whole thing of what y'all listening to. It's the, it's the old, what y'all listening to over there. Now that shit is garbage. Same shit they said to us. Yeah. They told us that Big J and Nas wasn't as good as Big Daddy Kane, Rock Rock Kim, and KS1. Right. It's the same thing the generation said, you know what I'm saying? Right. And the same same thing the generation before them said, yo, they, yo, Big Daddy Kane and Rock Kim and all that, but they ain't good as Grandmaster Kaz and all of them and Melly Mel. Yeah. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing going moving on. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same. And then this generation a few years is going to be saying the same thing to the next generation. Right. They're going to be saying, well, no, yo, I mean, dude sound all right. Then he ain't better than, he ain't better than like dirt. Right. You know what I mean? Now, now I need to put y'all on to like King Von and them. You know what I'm saying? He's better than them. It's cause time is going to go on. Yeah. Just, just like it's the younger dudes, you know what I mean, time now. They're going to get older, and then the next generation is going to come, and they're going to feel like the dude, people of their generation is better than the next generation. True. So what are you listening to? That's just life. True, true. Some people just can't accept that life goes on. Life don't stand still. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people that was born before us, born at the same time we was born, and born after us. People just can't accept that. It's people that, remember, it's people that was born after you, bro. True. Life still go on. True. Everything just don't stop with you. We want them to accept our shit, though. You, you, you know what I mean? No, y'all need to listen to this. They may not want to listen to that. True. You know what I'm saying? Because God forbid somebody say, yeah, no, nah, I really didn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up listening to like, you know, Biggie and Pac and all that. We People want to crucify them. Yeah. Look, look, check the age they are, bro. They didn't come up in that time. Right. It's like, think about it. Get Rich or Die Trying is, is, is what? Came out in 03. Yeah. So you got people that was two, three years old when in the club was out. Right. They were like, yeah, I remember this when I was a little kid. You yeah. like, whoa, how old is you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, if she was born in the, if, what's her name? Ice Spice. Ice Spice said she was born in like 2000, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, she was like three when that fucking song came out. Right. You know what I'm saying? People were born after us. Right. That's what it is. So people be saying that, people be looking at them like they crazy. What you mean? No, it's people born after. It's people that, they went alive the same time Big and Pac was alive. Big and Pac was already gone before they was born. Right. Think about that. Time right. goes on. 
So everybody didn't listen to them. Yeah, they might have heard a song or two, you know what I'm saying? People be acting like because they didn't listen to the shit we listened to, it's something wrong with them. They were born after us. Yeah. It's hard to accept that shit, though. So, yeah, they're not... Jay-Z is not the end-all, be-all to them. Right. Mm. Big is not the end-all, be-all to them. Pocket DMX is not the end-all, be-all to them. Right. That's when you hear that, that, that generation after us, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. They talking about Jay ain't the best. They talking about Wayne the best. That was their generation. Yeah. To that generation, Wayne is the best. Right. Right. You right. That's all. They are younger than us. And to the generation before us, like Rakim is the best. Right. Right. To the generation before that, they saying Grandmaster Cass or Melly Mel was Melly, the best. Yeah, shout out to Melly. Yeah, yeah. That's all. It's life. Right. Yeah, I think I think people get upset because like the understand hip hop evolves. No, nah, motherfuckers just get time go on and motherfuckers get older. And you're not and you're not the end. You're not the end all be all anymore. You're you're not the demographic of what hip hop is. You know what I mean? Once you once you age out of the demographic, people just can't. It's life. People just get older. Yeah, but we it really only, don't really have too much to do with hip hop. Just got to do with life. Like you just get older. The reality of it though is <clears> only the demographic of hip hop for a short brief time. Exactly. For a very short brief time. That's exactly. why I like the masses was like, we got to ban this shit. Yeah, Put a rental over it because then it started growing to other spots. And then they was like, yo, I don't want my kids listening to this shit like this. Exactly. So we was only the demographic for a very short time when it, when that shit was on the street corner. You know what I mean? Once it started getting like mass produced and then motherfuckers start going on tour in certain spots that we not even in really. Yeah, we, 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 we was outnumbered then. So we became we was a demographic for a very short time, but we want to we want everybody still we want we want the music to still address us. You know what I'm saying? I and want it, the music it, to it, speak it did, for but me. Then, but then, yeah, because that that that's just business. Because you wanted to be like, well, hip hop, the powers that be took over hip hop. Yes, because because once it became like worldwide, right. okay, it's not just the neighborhood anymore. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah, you have to go find a hip hop that you like. Right. They're not gonna put that on. They're not gonna always put that on TV. Even though a lot of them had records on TV, got people that's complaining about hip hop that y'all shit was in regular rotation on TV, the music videos all all the time. Right. So yeah, we're not putting marketing dollars. We're not putting marketing dollars into in, 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 into something that's that's just gonna gonna not really get out the hood. No, they're going to. I understand. I understand the business side of it, like. Yes, Eminem is going to appeal to more people. Yeah. Than, than somebody like I don't know, maybe like. Uh, Lord Jamal, brand new band. Right. Okay. See what I'm saying? Because that what they doing is not relatable to everybody. It's relatable to us. Right. The whole. You know what I'm saying. Strong, proud, black man, and all this and that, and the black power and all the unity and all that. Yeah. The message to them white kids in the suburbs, they looking like we don't got nothing to do with that. Right? What the fuck are they talking about? Right. right. That, right. that 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 don't that don't even apply to us. Right. So to the majority of people who that consume hip hop, what they do don't even apply to them. Right. You right. I'm not here for the black power shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here for public enemy. I'm not... I, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm a white... Just like... I mean, I know white men who can... Who can recite stuff like that, word for word, that love hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? But the, but, 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 but the majority, they not really too worried about that. Right. Just, just like I do know people that I grew up with and all that with the school with that... Was hip hop fans? They could recite. They 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 could, they they could recite all this stuff. Yeah, damn. Since we already talking about hip hop, man. Rest in peace, Chino XL. Forgot about that. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, he did pass away. Yeah. Um. One of the West Coast lyricists. Yeah. Of his era. 
You know what I mean? Some of y'all go back, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all, a lot of y'all that don't, that don't know what I'm talking about, man, go back, do y'all homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, but that also, see, that's one of the things what, that, that also was a good thing about, okay, if I'm watching this show, on this radio station, I'm watching this show, the video that comes on, it gives you, it gives you different from all regions, hip hop from all regions. I got, yeah, right, facts. So now, I listen to stuff from all over the place. So at right. the same time, that also helped broaden my horizons where I wasn't just East Coast. If it ain't from Philly or New York or Jersey, I ain't trying to hear it. Right. No, you listen to stuff from all over the place. You know what I mean? So it did help in that regard. So, but kind of lost track. What, 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 what else were I saying? I don't forgot what I was saying before that. Um... Damn, I don't forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about before you said rest in peace of Chino XL? Um, fuck. Um, something about I can't even remember. Well, go ahead. Um, you were talking about the business aspect of you. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and, yeah, I mean, hip hop being mass produced and how they got to do it like that. Exactly. So, yeah. so no, it's not. We're not going to worry about right, right. We're not going to worry about what's going on. The trials and tribulations of the hood when right. we when the majority of the money we make as far as the sales of it is not coming from people in the hood. True. So we have to find a way to appease them. Right. Because they can't relate. See, that's the see, that's part of the misunderstanding of yeah, the problems that be took it and they turned into something else. No, they turned into something that was been profitable. It turns into a business. Right. They yeah, turned, it turns yeah, they into a did. Business. They did. And you and you being in the hood and you worrying about your the part struggles that you going through in life, the stuff that you talking about, we can't the, the majority of the people in this country and this world can't really relate to right. it. That's how come you can you can Because you rapping about yeah. black power. You rapping about right. black power. Right, right. You rapping about black power, but the majority of record something if I run this record company and I see that the majority of the sales from people not not I mean from artists that 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 buy records from from this record company, they not black, right? So they not they not even in tune with what you're talking about, right? Right. So I'm I'm really not going to give you the same as a person that come and he might be popped, or I'm not going to give. You, I'm I am going to do more for MZ Hammer than I do for you, right? Right. Because if he got more chance to, be, to 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 appeal to more people and sell to more people, who am I going to dump more money into? Right. Right. Been, not, not, I mean, this is business-wise. Yeah, no, right. You not just business-wise. Am I going to put the same... Are you going to put the same... If you're running a record company, right? Especially, we got to understand, everybody's not from our culture. True. When I say culture, I mean like the hood, how we... I mean, how I many grew up that not 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 I mean our whole mentality and mind state. You know what I'm saying? If you somebody that's not even from the culture, but you like hip hop, but you're not from the culture, you thinking about it all from an all business standpoint. Hell yeah. So no, I'm not going to. I wouldn't put the same amount of money into if I had Karis One on the same label as Hammer. Right. I'm not putting the same time, money, effort into Karis One that I'm going to put into Hammer. Because exactly. Karaz One, might, his best might be gold. Right. And Hammer going diamond. Right. He just appeases to more people. Yeah. It's the same thing you. It's the same thing when you be talking about the podcast and shit. Like, he has a niche audience. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, he has a niche audience. You know what I'm saying? Niche audience, yeah. And we, and, and we are MC Hammer. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Only, you only talking to a couple of motherfuckers, only a couple of motherfuckers relating to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We talk yeah. about everything, so that means we relate to everybody. Right. That's why we do so well. Right. If we stuck to one thing, we we would not have the same success that we have right now. True, true. We wouldn't. True. We think we'd be doing over a million, a, a million episodes and sometimes doing a million a day if we were just sent to the same one thing. Right, true. You right. You can even tell though over the time because you can look at how like the the components of hip hop was phased out 
due to you not being able to profit off of them. Like the B boys, all that dancing and uh, the tagger and shit. That shit started to get phased out because the motherfucker like, how are they? How are they profiting hip hop? You know what I'm saying? How can I make a dollar off of them? Yeah, so, because because it's 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 not exactly. It's not that you got to blame you. We blaming the powers that be for everything. Right. No, some people realize, no, I might have to go goddamn get a job, <laughs> sell drugs. <laughs> right, right. That's and spin on this goddamn cardboard and they making a dollar. Me writing this goddamn graffiti ain't doing a goddamn thing. Right. And these motherfuckers dropping Mercedes Benzes right. yeah. with gold chains. Yeah. I'm about to go sell drugs. But they telling me I'm hip hop too, but I don't look like it. You know I don't saying? look like yo. No, Yo, these, these are the elements of hip hop. Yeah. That's nice. Go pay your bills with that. You know what I mean? Yeah, the people got got the, 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 the electric company, like, oh, okay. <laughs> You got this, you can spin on your head. We not we're not gonna cut your lights off, you can spin on your head. No, fuck, you want our money. <laughs> that's that she went out the window. Yeah, you're right. So so can we so can we blame them? Right. Can we blame them for that? <laughs> we start doing all what no, what what can make us some goddamn money? Right. <laughs> I ain't got time no much goddamn spray paint costs. I ain't getting no money for this shit. I'm just like, yo, that's me right there <laughs> on the wall. Yeah. You, you see, you see that train? That's me right there. I don't fucking use thirty dollars worth of paint. This is back when my fucking minimum wage is like two dollars and fifty cent right. hour. <laughs> right. I mean, I spent my whole fucking spent my whole fucking check on spray paint just to be like, yo, it's me up there on the wall. Fuck is you talking about? Yo, oh man, yo, that's wild, but shit, yo, you think about it though, right? They be like, yeah, like, like the boy from B Street, right? You know what I'm saying? This fucking baby, man. You know what I mean, he got a baby. He got a fucking baby. The oh. fucking his, his, his fucking baby grandma. I'm like, yo, where the bread at? You coming around with no money? You coming around talking about you spray painting on shirts and shit like that? Spray painting on chains. Fuck it's a bread that we got baby in here to take care of. Yo. Oh man. Yeah, but you, you come through with no bread. You got right. through something about something. I made this for the baby. Man, we fucking baby. Baby need milk and, and diapers. You fucking come through arts and crafts and shit. That's how they make some goddamn money, motherfucker. Yo. Oh man. You right, yo. Hip hop didn't take care of itself. Well, then we mad at everybody else. Yeah, hip hop didn't take care of itself. Know what I'm saying? People make their choices right. now, and now you got we got to live with that. Yeah. We, was, we was about we was about the money. Right. Who had the money? And how could we get the money? Right. Right. Everybody's so quick to fucking start naming that shit. No, this the whole thing. The elements of hip hop. <laughs> All right, man. The fucking fucking break dancing, yeah. graffiti, yeah. the goddamn the DJ, the dog. Okay. Whatever's not making money, right? You let like, you like that, you like that shit in the past. Yeah. Motherfuckers Yo. out here fucking break dancing, uh. doing fucking backflips and spinning on their goddamn head. That shit ain't paying the bills, no, dog. It's not. So we left it where it was at. Right. You Can we to. blame other people for that? No. We made a business decision. Hip hop people made a business decision. Right. Now I mean, I mean, it's still like a little subculture that you you you, you be seeing like the dancing competitions and yeah, all that yeah, stuff like that, yeah. and people doing graffiti and all that. So it's still around, but it's not going to be major. You know why it's not major? It makes no money. Yeah, it makes no money. Yeah, that's it's the same thing like you said before. It's the nostalgia of it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It might be a dance event, and they had a wall spray painted with the group with the tags on it. You are like, oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like for that right. moment. Yeah, the nostalgia of it. But other, other than that, and even like the dancing. It's kind of like, because I mean, like a lot of times you, you watch them dance events, they don't just be dancing to hip hop. It be other shit playing. So yeah, you're right. The, the elements of it, you know what I'm saying, it's not profitable. Hip hop, like you said before, you know what I'm saying? You said something off the mic. I was trying to remember what the fuck you said. But hip hop didn't ever take care of itself. Like we mad we, we mad that there's there's no more Jay-Z and Nas's. What, do, do you do you think do you think it was their duty to usher in the next generation? Yeah. No, hey, no, fam. What you mean? 
What you mean? It is. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't need. You don't need a next one. That's our who they are, and it, that was a part of our generation. Okay. Jay Z is Jay Z to us. Nas is Nas to us. Right. Know what I'm saying? To to the younger generation, Kendrick is their Nas. Right. I got you. Kendrick is their Nas. Some and some some people say Drake is their Jay Z. Mm. Drake is the top of what you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You want to be one of the biggest artists in the whole world. Now I'm saying not to say that Drake compared with Jay-Z, I mean as far as lyrically. I know what you mean. You know what I'm saying? But mean. as far as status and him being the number one dude. Right. I know what you, you mean. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. In that regard. So it's not that we got in two. Hey, that ain't nobody goddamn job to usher nobody in. Let, let me make sure it's somebody around that's like me. No, I did what I did. And I'm, did what you did when you was here, and you still here, and you help people out from time to time. Some people make it, some people don't. Some people take the opportunity seriously, some people don't. Right. That that's 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 not everybody's job. People won't be want to say, well, you know, some people drop the ball. Drop the ball how? Now, I mean, you get somebody an opportunity, and then sometimes it work out, sometimes it don't. Right. Like I said, we don't have to keep it around because that's what we liked. Yeah, that's what we liked. Now, I mean. They have those people in place that they looked at the way the same way we look at those those, those guys. They look at people like that. Right. The younger generation, they do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Do. Some some people look at Wayne the way that people we look at Dre, they look at Jay. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So those people are around. It's just not our people. Like I said, people just have a time tough time with that life going on. People getting older, and you're not the end all be all, and you're not. You know what I'm saying? We we we. And we don't move the needle anymore. People just upset about that. That's just something that happens in life. You're just going through like a midlife crisis right now. That could be that could be difficult for the parent that grew up, right? You listen to this shit and you you distaste this shit, right? And your child, like you said before, Dad, buy me this joint. It's only three ninety nine. That's bullshit. Mm. I'm not buying. That's you need to listen to some good music. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like a disconnect. And now because no, it's all, I don't want to participate it's, in your it's all, shit. It's always been like that though. It's always been like that. It's always been like that. The people, the generation before, used to call that shit bullshit. True, you right, yeah, yeah. And the people before them just call that shit bullshit. Some old head, some old head I was talk, talking to said that he said my parents said that hip hop wouldn't last. I was like, well, I guess yeah. they was right. No, what you mean they was right? Because the hip hop that you love is gone. They were right. Hip hop is still here, but what you? Because he was, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, then they were right. Because the hip hop that you like, that you that you still long for, it's not around no more. Well, I'm not gonna say it's not around no more. It's around. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm it's not gonna around. say it's not around no more. No, time just goes on, and that's not what you're gonna hear on the radio. Exactly. The, the, the stuff that you gravitated to, towards, because because like I said, you're no longer the demographic. True. You're no time goes on. Right. They're not gonna play KRS One and rock him on. Power 99 all day, every day, like they might have did back when we was little kids. Right. Yeah, that's hard for us to understand. That's hard for motherfuckers to understand. Though. It's just, people, people, really, really, it's not a hip-hop issue. It's a life issue with people. Yeah, people yeah. just upset that they're not going to be young forever and time goes on. Yeah. yeah so right. people just cannot deal with that. No, I understand what you People just cannot accept it and can't deal with it. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is not the 90s anymore. We're not in high school no more. Right. It is what it is. It happens, man. It's life. Some people just can't deal with it. Just can't accept the fact that they are now turning into the OGs, no heads. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Now, I mean, you've been young boy your whole life, and now all of a sudden, you OG now. Right. It happens. Right. It happens. It's life. It happens. Right. That's really what it is. I don't like this and this is not. But it. you know what? You know what? Even you know what? Even like fucking pushes that further when the artists come out and say some shit about it. Then that that like conf as a fan that confirms you like yeah. Well, you heard what such and such said. Then you know I mean they right because I feel the same way. When you know what I mean yeah, I, I listen to him. He said this about the younger generation. I feel the same way. So when they take part of that because they human too, they gonna go through that too. That 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 feeling of like damn, my run is done. You know what I mean and. However, they take that, they can come out like, yeah, this next wave of music is trash. You know what I mean? Every day, a ton of artists went through that. And the fans agree with that shit. And that's what kind of keep the conversation going. 
Yeah, because people turn into their parents. True. You get, yeah. you get older and you are yeah. now the parent. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You get older and you are now the parent. Yeah. Yeah, and some it's, it's not some people some people who run this over not because people don't care about them, but but you're just like you're getting older. Your your fans get older. Yeah. Your supporters get older. Yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Hip 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 hop is not the top priority in my life no more. The way the way Facts. it was when I was younger. I feel, you, I feel you. No doubt. No doubt. That's not the number one thing that run my life no more. Making right. sure I hear somebody album. No, now I got things to do. I get around to hearing somebody's album when I get around to hearing it. Right. It's not it's not the number one priority. Like it was when I was younger. Right. It's like when certain albums came out. The top fucking priority was listening, get, getting your hands on the album so you can listen to it. I mean, when Big Life After Death came out, that was the number one priority. Wu Tang Forever and all that, that was the number one priority. It's not like that anymore. Right. I'll listen to it when I get around to listening to it. Right, right. Which is, which is, which is, which you're absolutely right, though, right? So if we all grew up and we got all these responsibilities on top of responsibilities, why do we even care? But it, all right, you're right. You already said it before. Exactly. Just, because yeah, you people already said feel like they're getting you old. Yeah, people feel like they're getting it. older. Yeah, you already said it. Yeah. It's like, I got to worry about paying this fucking mortgage. Not who dropped the latest drill music so I can complain about, about that shit. Yeah, worry about something <laughs> that you ain't listening <laughs> to no damn way. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I be on got I be on got some some of these sites. I be on like YouTube and all that. It'd be a person I never heard of, but they got, but they'll, they'll, a video will have 60 million, 50 million views. Mm. You know what I mean? And it'd be somebody I personally never heard of, but it's part of the younger generation. I'm not up on everything. So I might check it out. You know what I mean? But I'm 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 all right with knowing that I'm not the end all be all and I don't know any and I'm not up on any and everything anymore. Yeah, you're right. It's all right to me. It's all right. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Some people just can't accept it. They, they just can't accept that life is going on and we are getting older. They can't. They can't accept it. You know what I mean? So I got to complain about the youngest. What, what, uh, do you really listen to it? No, you probably don't really listen to it. You just got to complain about something you probably really don't even listen to. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so that right there, man, I'm just... It's going to be the ongoing conversation, though. It's not going to stop. Because like you said, the next generation is going to talk about the next generation and so forth and so on. It's just always going to continue. You know what I'm saying? Hip-hop is a business that, you know what I'm saying, we thought it was just ours. Then when the world got it, and you know what I mean, they, they expressed it and did what they wanted to do with it, we got mad. We a little pocket of the, you know what I mean, of, of, of the fucking world. But we don't, we well, people don't want to accept that, that the majority of these sales is from people that, didn't grow up from, I mean, didn't grow up the same way they grew up and all this and that. And they're not from the same environment as them. You know what I mean? Because one of the main consumers of hip hop are white people. Yeah. And within the white people, white women. Right. It's like, remember remember when that when that video came out and was they, and the white chicks was um was singing Lil Baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. And everybody like so amazed by that. I'm like... You do know in this country the the, the main consumer of hip hop is like white women. Yes, they are. But you don't know that because you your thought process don't go past your neighborhood. You think y'all think the only per you think these people, the only people that care about them and how how they are successful are just from people from the hood. Right. No. No. Right. Like people's like so amazed by that video. No, I know a lot of, I know a lot of white people that can recite rap lyrics. Yeah. And you said they, they, right, they may yeah. just not walk around doing it in front of everybody. Right. But when you know them, no, they know a lot of shit. I know, yeah, I know chicks that know a lot of shit. I know, and I mean, I know chicks that can know goddamn damn near goddamn little Kim song word for word. Mm. They're not gonna walk around just saying it all out loud if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? So, people just like so goddamn amazed by that. I'm like, yeah, y'all don't, y'all whole life is like, in, in, in like in like a box and think that it's it's all about whatever you care about and that's it. Ain't nothing else going on in the world. No. No, it's a lot going on. Like it's plenty of people that say throw that M in them on. Yeah, you're right. You you just saying you we just not around them. Yeah. But trust me, if he if he had a show right now, 
in the goddamn football stadium, people be run be down packed. there to go. You know what I mean? To go, that motherfucker be sold out. It should be packed. So trust me, so trust me, there's plenty of people that say throw that Eminem on. You know what I mean? And your favorite rapper, whoever your favorite rapper is, probably couldn't. Yeah, because like you said, hip hop, hip hop is a fucking the the, the components within hip hop and the statements that we make in hip hop are not for you to be yummy yeah, wealthy. Keep it real, keeping it real, keeping it real is not what's gonna make me money. I gotta feed these kids. Don't want to hear these keeping it real ass stories all the time. Don't forget where you're from. I mean, you cannot forget where you're from, but I'm saying like the shit that we say in hip hop doesn't provide for profitable hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be the voice of the streets. Shit like that. We say shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Was was that showbiz that said and something about I can't forget the bums that told me don't forget where I came from. They still <laughs> they they still living like bums. That gotta be showbiz. I'm pretty I'm, I'm pretty sure that was showbiz. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was showbiz, because I think it was, it was showbiz AG, but I think it was showbiz. You know what I mean? <laughs> the old barbershop, you know what I'm saying? Confirm that confirm that for me. I'm pretty sure that was showbiz that right, said right, that. Right, right, right. Heard about the bums that said, don't forget where I came from. They still <laughs> living like bums. But yo, that's, those are the statements that we give you in hip-hop, though. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget where you come from. Yo, you the voice of the streets. Keep it real. Keep it, keep it real. Look at you, I gotta feed these kids and shit. I got bills to pay. Keeping it real, man. Oh man. Keep keeping it real how? You know what I'm saying? Um, let me make sure I make music that you like a motherfucker that ain't gonna buy it. A motherfucker that ain't gonna buy a t-shirt, ain't gonna come to a show. Right, right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause yo, we you you spoke on it last week when you said how how big Hammer was, but nobody duplicated that. Nobody duplicated that that mean that blueprint, and he was successful. You know what I'm saying? Like Drake is successful. It's like nobody yeah. wants to duplicate that blueprint because it's like no, and, because he was he was talented. Okay, he can dance. He can dance like a motherfucker. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the rhyme, the the rhymes were. Digestible and relatable to more people. Right. He wasn't lyrical miracle rapping. Right. So it can appeal. So it was entertaining to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with that. True. Except that you are now looked at as the number one dude. So that's the problem we have with it. Yeah. So you're a sellout. Well, how is he a sellout? Well, you're just going to say, well, he from Oakland, so, okay, so we'll be rhyming about guns and drugs because he from Oakland? Right. We won't got enough of that? Yeah, like everybody else was on that type of time. The, the, the diversity that we speak of. Because if he was on the same, yeah, if he rapped about that on the same level as us, he'd be cool. Right, right. But because he made it to the next level because his music was more relatable, and then, like I say, you know, the dancing, and then, you know, now I mean, he had the background dances, now I mean, he made sort of videos, it's dope. Right. Very entertaining. So now you make it to another level, bro. You a sellout. How you a sellout, dog? He helping not me fucking people. Yeah. He done took he done took the whole goddamn town with him. <laughs> right. I ain't everybody that can fucking you can dance, you can play the goddamn drums, you can do a goddamn guitar. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Ain't anybody that can do anything. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to put you on, give you opportunity. Right, right. But he a sellout though. Yeah. How you got them sellout? I'm trying to take. I'm, I'm trying to bring the whole goddamn California with me. Right. See all these goddamn people I got on stage. Yeah. With me. That I'm, that I'm helping put on. Everybody got the not not just me got to have a fucking dope outfit. Everybody have a dope outfit on. Right. The whole goddamn stage show, man. We going on tour. I'm giving people opportunity. I'm just people you saw. A lot of people in the background, he probably looked out for. Hell yeah. How many people Hammer probably gave goddamn money to? Yo, Hammer, I'm trying to put up a restaurant. You know what I mean, Hammer? I'm trying to get a car wash. Hammer, no. Hammer, I'm trying to get my bar. I'm trying to get a barber shop. I'm trying to do money for this and that. You imagine how much money he probably gave to people? Oh, yeah. That he never was going to see back and probably didn't care if he see it back. Just do what you're supposed to do with it. Right. He a sellout, though. Right. 
But we call him a sellout because of the music. Because because, because he's because of his success. Because of his success. Because if he came out, he was him. But when he went gold, like everybody else, other rapper, he'd be cool. Yeah, but you it's cool that you are different because but we selling the same thing. Right, right. But you can't be successful talking that gun, shoot him up shit all the time. That doesn't breed success. Listen, man, he wasn't keeping it real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. ain't keeping it real. You're right. He took it, he taking the whole goddamn Motown on goddamn world, goddamn right. tours with him. Show him a whole right. different part of life. I mean, people you got your opportunity to? He a sellout though. He a sellout because he's successful and we more successful than everybody. Like I said, if he was doing that, if he was still dancing and rapping, but he, now, now I mean he still we, we still sell sold the same. Right. He's, it'd be all right. Because he's not a threat. Yeah, you know I mean, we doing the same thing. It'd be all right. You a goddamn you. sellout. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. How is he a sellout? Because he danced? People in the club don't dance? The whole, the, the whole, the whole world don't get most they dance moves from us. Right. We ain't always the innovators and all of that. Right. We got all type of different talents. But then that's what people complain about, man. They come and they just rob the hood. They rob the black people of all our, all our originality, our creativity. And soon as somebody get big doing that, you a sellout. Yeah. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? You're right. No, I mean, that's, man, his success, his success made people so upset. Michael Jackson was like, oh, no, we not. I'm the king of pop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mike didn't like that. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mike Mike didn't like that. That's when, that's when Hammer he challenged him to the dance off and shit. You know what I mean? That should have been epic, yo. They did the dance. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, like that. See, the see, fucking dance see, off. I'm Michael. I'm the end all be all. I'm Michael. King of pop. That's who started calling himself King of pop. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even Mike ain't like that shit. Yeah. Like, who, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people didn't like that shit, though. Yeah, but that's what I. That's why I feel about him. I mean, you know, Hammer came out when we, we, we was little kids, but when you look back and now, because I still go back and watch some of the, some of the videos and all that. Okay. Still very entertaining, man. Yeah. So my thing is, how the f was he a sellout when he trying to, dog, I'm bringing everybody with me on tour. I'm giving people a world full of opportunities, man. How the hell am I saying sellout? Everybody. You right. Everybody. How, how, how am I a sellout? Because he's not the voice of the hood. You got to speak about what we're going through. He did. We got to pray just to make it today. Everybody, moms and grandmoms and aunties and everybody ain't praying all the damn time. Ain't praying. They not praying when they send their kids and their grandkids outside. They don't know if they're going to make it back or not. What are you talking? People be talking about. I don't know. Can't touch it. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yo, dog. Yeah. Like people ain't like the party. I'm telling you, you, you know, you, you know it's probably mad. You mad because Hammer was getting more women than some of y'all motherfuckers. That's probably what it was. The uh, women was run. What? Uh, man, I, I believe that, shit, man. Uh, the women was probably loving Hammer, man. Uh, all that dancing and all yeah. that, and all the videos and all that. See, that's what I'm saying because the women can relate to that. Women don't even understand half of what these rappers are talking about. Right. Then, you got chicks that's from the hood don't want to hear hood shit. Right. Yeah, you right. Facts. Facts. I bet you that's what it was. I bet you that's what it was, too. And they roll up all the bitches. Man. Right. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. they yelling and screaming, Hey, me here, we go. Yeah. Hey, me here. They falling out. I'm always looking like... <laughs> sell out sell ass, ass nigga. Sell ass motherfucker. Yeah, sell out ass nigga. Hollywood ass nigga. Niggas is sell out. You know what I mean? I never liked it, that nigga. Those are lies you got to tell your son about right. that little... I ain't that nigga because I'm keeping it fucking real. Right, right, That's right, what I ain't did. Right. I can go sell 10 million too. If I was dancing around, no, you couldn't. You can go dance out there. You ain't going to sell that shit, bro. Do you. We love you for what you are. Yo. I'm keeping it real. You know what you... You know what? So just listen to you. You right, though, because... The fans of hip hop, we are the reason why the hip hop is in a position that we don't like. Cause in reality, I'm talking about the barbershop niggas. In reality, 
Y'all fans, y'all fandom stop at buying a CD. You don't support an artist enough to be continue on. Like if not, you gotta think about it. Then Nas can go somewhere and sell out a crazy tour. Those fans still exist, right? But the responsibilities, which would haunt you from like, man, I can't make a show this night. We can't do this this night. So as Nas going, you like, well, if the fucking audience is getting smaller for me, it's telling me it's time for me to roll out. If, if certain artists that you like, yo, we care, care us, we need to drop some shit. But the audience Man. is getting smaller and smaller. Isn't this complaining that probably ain't bought an album since the 90s? Oh, that's what I'm saying. What you crying and complaining? You, yeah, Last right. time you spent money on some damn music. Right, right. Well, some of y'all probably spent money on music. Right. Actually spent money on music. Yeah. When the last time some of y'all probably spent money on music, but yeah. complaining about it. That's what I mean. Exactly. That's... That's what my attitude is, man. Listen, if you ain't you ain't contributing nothing, if you ain't supporting nothing, fuck your opinion. Right. Nobody care about your goddamn opinion. You're right. Such and such person is canceled. And we don't, and you know, uh 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 Drake gotta take that L. Drake doing fucking stole stay stadium goddamn tour right oh, now. Yeah. What L he fucking took other than the only person that can say that is probably Kendrick for what they 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 went through. You think L Drake is taking an L in life? Right. Still selling out shows? Right. Going all over the world? What the fuck is you talking about? Right. What are some of these things to be talking about? What else is this? It's talking to be talking. Yeah. He dominated this shit for years and years. And still is. Yeah. It's not like all of a sudden it stopped. Chick stopped liking him. Chick said, we ain't going to no more shows. No, his show's still selling out. What are right. you talking about? Right. Yeah, you right. What are you talking about? The backpackers is man and the barbershop dudes still be mad, man, because they just need something to be mad about. Man, man, listen, man. They just um, need something to be mad about. Right, I, right, because it's not what what you love is not the end all be all. Yeah. And like I said, I've come to terms with that a long time ago, and I'm cool with that. I listen to what I listen to, I support the art the artists, not 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 I mean, I mean the artists I like. And I keep it, and I keep it pushing, man. man. You can find what you want. I ain't got time. Why? Why would I spend my, my my time complaining about everything? I stuff that I don't listen to. Yeah. Plus, so, man. And then a lot, then a lot of y'all don't even listen to enough of it to say whether you don't like it or not. True. Some of y'all just complaining just because you turn into your parents. You just complaining for the sake of complaining. Right. You right. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to hear that, but a lot of people is turning into their parents. And a lot of motherfuckers is lying to themselves. You know what I mean? A couple of these old heads like, yeah, I'm like, don't you got kids? What do you listen to? No, my kids listen to the shit I listen to. Yeah, right. Probably when you're around. Right. They act like that. But when they when they with their homies and shit, they throw all that, you know what I mean? OT7 Kwani shit. You know what I'm saying? That Skrilla shit. No, they don't listen to that. Man, my kids in the basement with me. Nas, JX, that's all they know. If you, you think so. Listen, we grew up. Our parents beat us in the head with that shit too. You gotta go, you gotta go somewhere with your mom and your pop and they got the car, they gonna play that Patty LaBelle. We knew that shit too. But then when we was off on our own, we knew our shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't act like <laughs> we, we right. knew how to read the fucking you know, shit too. Yeah, right. We knew that shit too. Marvin Gaye and all that soul stuff. <laughs> yeah. That stuff our parents listened to. Right. We knew all that shit. Now I mean I know a little bit of rock and roll, cause now I mean my mom used to listen to like rock and roll. Okay, yeah. I'm saying we knew all that shit. I mean, but then when but was, I still, now I'm saying, listening to stuff that we listen to too. Right. So it ain't no yo. That's what I'm raising them on. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, you right, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying. You saying they saying like they did something different than what our parents did? No, we listen to the same stuff our parents did. That's why I know old school. Stuff. That's why I know Motown stuff. Right. I that's that. why I still listen to some of it to this day. Right. Facts. I still listen. I, I still listen to. I, I, I'm not just a person who just listens to just hip hop, right. 1990s hip hop, and that's it. No, I, I listen to way more than that. You know what I mean? So some people are just stuck. They got they got the goddamn backpack on. They got their goddamn fucking. <laughs> they got their fucking African medallions yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yo, fight the power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, now, now they, they, they got their fucking arm fatigues on with yeah. their fucking combat boots. So I got to start some discord, 
waiting for the fucking bus. I got to start the Discord up soon, man, because you know I mean, these motherfuckers is trying real. to test me and shit, test my hip hop knowledge. So I'm saying, maybe your five, maybe your five groups. I was like, what? <laughs> then I named the groups, and my man was like, you let the Beastie Boys out. I was like, well, to me, you said name my five groups. Nigga, Beastie Boys is not in my top five. I think I said something like Woo. I said Mob, Locks. You know what I'm saying? I said I even said Bones and shit. Man, like you let the Beastie Boys out. How you gonna leave the Beastie Boys out? But y'all talking about y'all do hip hop. So yeah, you, know, you just said name my five groups. I'm tell y'all something right now. <laughs> Don't come at me with that shit. I ain't, got, I ain't got nothing to prove no. to y'all golden air barbershop That's niggas. why I got to start the Discord up so you can hop in there and get the good to talk too. No, I got to start that shit up. I ain't, I ain't got time for that shit. Uh. That shit don't do nothing for me going up. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't, I want my interacting with the shit. people, but yeah, get quiz. Listen, listen, get listen, I, listen, I'm not going, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I'm going to win a fucking award for being ultimate, number one golden air nigga. He said, and he said he was a hip hop aficionado. Right. You, see? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck I'm not, I'm not doing all that. I'm not, I'm not going through all that for your imaginary award. <laughs> like, I need y'all step of approval. Yo. No, no, I sold the fish you. Yeah, he a f- oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, yo. I can take that to the bank. Yep. I can pay bills with that. What you talking about I'm late on my mortgage. I'm a golden air official barbershop nigga. You know who you talking to? Right. You had the niggas the fucking award like like you're a Freemason and shit. Right. Oh, this right. has to be a mistake. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, this has to be a mistake. I just cause I just won this shit last week. Right. Come on, man. Listen, man, it is what it is in life, man. That's why the sign says time's up, man. It's all right. Yeah, time is up. It's all right, man. You still alive, ain't you? All right, I'm just, just not the end all be on the center of attention when it comes to hip hop. Yeah. I can still listen to whatever I want to listen to. Listen, same way our parents moved on, they'll move on. Our parents moved on too. Like they they got to the point where they're like, fuck it. What am I what am I even still talking right. to y'all about? Right. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Right. Y'all right. enjoy y'all music. I'm gonna enjoy my music. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. That's all. I get it, man. They you gotta. They they getting dragged away, kicking and screaming though. Yeah. They they want what they care about to matter so goddamn much, and their opinion to matter so much. But they but you know what? I think it, I think it is. I think it's the effect of the kids now don't even recognize. That, well, not to say that they don't. It's something they still do. Some kids don't recognize their greats as greats. They want the J's and the Nas's and the Karis ones. They want them to still be recognized as greats. If you still recognize them as a great, you okay. And a lot of them motherfuckers are like, no, Wayne is better than, oh, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. So the fact that they feel like their 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 generation don't even get recognized mm-hmm. is the fact that why they they so hurt. You know what I mean? They they like they don't even respect our shit. To me, it's not a, it's not a you don't have to come into hip hop knowing your history. You don't have to come in there on some shit like. Yeah, I know who wrote the first rhyme and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Crush Groove in them. I know all about that. You don't got to come in there knowing that. You come in there if you a good rapper, you a good rapper, and you make a living. It's like motherfuckers want you to know the history of it. When that's not even necessary. They want you to know that. These motherfuckers don't even know their elders. They don't even know, you know what I mean, where this shit come from. And they're like, why does that matter, though? Yeah, I don't walk into a job and shit like, yeah, I'm at the bakery. Yo, the first muffin was made. Don't matter. It don't matter, talk. I'm in here to get a check. Yo, but it's weird because that's what we want us to do. Even, even in like sports aspects. If 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 a, if a kid get asked some shit and it be like, them motherfuckers said Paul George his favorite star. He ain't say Jordan or nothing. The fuck is going on? That's who he like, dog. Yo, we we get mad every time that some our our generation don't get recognized. That's what it is, man. Now I mean. Sad thing about it, man, like you said, life goes on. And as life goes on, it just is what it is. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody really talking about Wilt like that no more. And Wilt numbers was crazy. So, you know what I mean? The time just going to go on. It's just going to keep going on. It's going to keep going on. That's what it's here for. You know what I mean? Uh, you done with this joint? Yeah, man, I've been done with this joint. You know what I'm saying? I've been done with it. I, listen, I, it's I, life, I start, man. It is what it is, bro. I got to start this cord up so you can get in them conversations, God, dog. Damn, I'm going to be upset over it. Yeah. It's life, man. 
start the Discord and right, get through the we conversations. Can listen, listen to what you want to listen to. Youngers listen to not not me whatever they want to listen to. No, they gotta listen to my shit. Right. I need them to listen to my shit, and they gotta like my shit. Right. So. The same way I like it. See, another thing about that is like it's hard to like some shit that you didn't live. You wasn't there to experience the moments and shit like that. So it's hard for me to even like encapsulate like how it was to go through the music at the time. You know what I mean? You just introducing me to this shit now. I'm like, all right, that's what's up. So I spent the I spent the whole day with my pop in the basement listening to some shit. That's the moment that we had. Okay, that's what's up. We did that, but you lived this shit when the shit first happened. And you know what I mean, everybody was dropping it, and then you and your friends is all like, yo, you heard this, you heard that. Yeah, you know I mean? no, it's different, man. You know what I mean? Let them have their moment. They this is this day moment. You know what I'm saying? But um, yo, we out of here, man. We thank y'all. Uh, we appreciate y'all. Trust me, when that when I get that Discord up and running, man, I will let y'all know the information so y'all can join. Join us in on the conversations. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully I don't gotta start too. Cause I don't want I don't want the Discord to get overwhelmed by the barbershop dudes and the ladies might want to ask us something. And they getting fizzled out because the barbershop dude like, hold on, bitch. I'm asking this nigga something about some DMX shit. You know what I mean? So hopefully I don't have to start too. Everybody respectful in there. You know what I mean? Cause you know the ladies, they like to, they like to come come at ISO about some shit he might have said on the uh, episode. You know what I mean? So Hopefully we all be respectful when we can all, you know what I mean, work in the community together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We not um <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm we, 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 Yeah. We not gonna elevate our, I mean I mean we're not gonna alienate our main supporters, no, which is the not. women. We're not. Y'all niggas trying to fucking grill us on who the fucking we fucking goddamn the fucking the uh, the dubbins. I just can't, man. I can't. I'm not doing I feel it. You, yeah. I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not doing the yeah. Yo, your top five this, top five that. <laughs> What's this? Who yeah. this? And then, you know what I mean? Name, name, name your top fives and your this and you doing. And then you forgot to mention that person. Yo, it's not. It's it's not that deep to me no more. Yeah, you know I what feel. Saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm from damn sure not going to be. You know what I mean, putting the putting. Putting the women to the side because those are our main supporters. Definitely. These motherfuckers, y'all, y'all, y'all just want pop, but that's what I mean. Y'all don't support shit though. Y'all don't support shit all the time, but soon as we talk about some, you know what I mean? Y'all trying to move on, everybody all upset. See that that see, see, that's right there is the prime example. That that's why I halfway don't be giving a fuck what y'all talking about, because y'all don't support like that. The women support us. Right. Ain't nobody got time to go back and forth with y'all not supporting ass motherfuckers as soon as y'all hear one thing y'all upset about. Right. Any other time you ain't fucking listening, we can't get a goddamn review out of none of y'all motherfuckers. So just, everybody want to type a whole goddamn paragraph yeah. when they hear some shit about hip hop they don't like. You right. You know what I mean? You right. Other than that, nah, man, we done. We can wrap this joint yeah, up, man. Yeah, man. I mean, so you know what I mean? Uh, what's said is said and what's done is done. We got to hear y'all. Peace.